The control of respiration is the responsibility of the RCC, or the Respiratory Control Centre. And what it's doing is it's waiting for information to be gathered around the body and sent to it so it can then make the decision to either increase or decrease breathing rate. And there's a few ways that it actually gathers this information. The first is it looks at blood pH. The lower the pH starts to drop because of CO2 and lactic acid reduction, the more acidic the environment becomes. This acidity is detected, the RCC is informed, it signals to the inspiratory muscles to increase their work rate so that more air and more O2 can come in and can fuel this energy and tissue respiration further on. Second, we have chemoreceptors. Chemoreceptors are detecting the concentration or the partial pressures of gases inside of our blood and muscles. In particular, O2 and CO2. The greater CO2 levels are, the more exercise is likely to be happening. The greater the difference between arterial O2 and venous O2, again indicative of exercise. Therefore, once these start to change, the information is related to the RCC, inspiration is altered so that we get more air and more oxygen in to cope with the change in demands. We also have thermoreceptors at our joints and inside of our muscles. Movement generates heat as a byproduct. This increase in heat again is relayed to the RCC, which alters the inspiratory muscles to work harder, faster, to increase the intake of air to cope with the changing demands of exercise. We also have proprioceptors. Proprioceptors are located within the muscles, within the walls of our lungs, and they detect changes in size, in stretch, in movement. The more movement, the more stretch that is going on. Again, that's indicative of exercise and increasing demand. This information is related to the RCC and it decides to up the work rate of the inspiratory muscles. Now, we do have two components of our RCC. The ICC, or the Inspiratory Control Centre, which is responsible for what we've just spoken about. And we also have the ECC, or the Expiratory Control Centre. And we have something known as the Herring Brewer Reflex located within inside of our lungs, whereby as inspiration increases, our lungs will expand to their, to their maximum or to their, to their maximum capabilities. Once it reaches this, there's actually too much of a stretch and that's detected by stretch receptors located in the walls of our lungs and intercostal muscles. This information is again sent to the RCC and particularly the ECC, which will then signify the expiratory muscles to work harder and faster, almost alongside the increasing inspiration rates. This will prevent injury and damage caused to the lungs because of overstretching, because of overactivation of the inspiratory muscles.